I started out as a microwave engineer uh, on the Apollo program, which, as you probably know, is a long, long time ago. And the company I went to work for was in Silicon Valley uh, when it was not yet Silicon Valley. Well, after we got through launching things to the moon, uh, NASA decided, well, we're done with that, and lots of us, like 60,000 of us, had to go find something else to do. Wow. Well, I was in Silicon Valley, and the integrated circuits were starting to be uh, a, a big play, and um, I, uh, the, the big jobs were designing things with integrated circuits, digital, and so I uh, interviewed for a job uh, designing equipment for testing digital integrated circuits, and I uh, got the job and said, oh, now I got to go learn something about logic. So I went to, to bookstores and got books, and I faked it, and uh, that's how it got, got my start. And of course, uh, since I was already in the, the microwave end of things, transmission lines were already part of that, and that was what you had to be good at if you want to use ECL. And uh, the high-speed computers back then were ECL. That's how I switched from microwave to uh, what everybody calls digital. And for a long time, digital was sl slow enough that you could pretend it was digital, but uh, I never did. Uh, and always, always designed with transmission lines. And so as the speed went up all around the industry, everybody needed to learn how to do something with this high-speed stuff.